when you level up friendship with an NPC, they will start sending you gifts. How long would it take for us to abuse this and use the money from the gifts to sell out the town to Jojimart? Let's find out. I wasn't actually very familiar with how gifting worked, so let's do a little bit of research. The first thing I learned is that you don't actually unlock gifts at a certain friendship level, you only get better gifts the higher friendship you go. For example, Demetrius will send you Amethyst at zero hearts, then closer to one and a half hearts, he will start sending you things like Nautilus shells. This of course means that we're gonna have to do some hardcore grinding to level up every NPC to max hearts for the best gifts. It's gonna be tough, a true test of all of my skills, but I think I can do it. Just kidding, this this is what we have mods for. All right, so, oh wow, okay, so we have max speed on, I probably should turn that off. So we've made a new farm and we're gonna turn every single person up to max hearts. Holy smokes, okay, that's a lot of achievements. <laughs> all at the same time. Okay, so now that we've got all that, okay, Leah wants to talk to us. Okay, and Marnie wants to talk to us. And Jody wants to talk to us. We can skip this one though. Okay, and Gus. And that's all of them. Oh, oh, Leah gave me a special statue. She said it was how I feel about Gug. Um, I'll I'll put it in a very a very special place, you know, and keep it keep it safe in there. All right, now that we have everyone on max friendship, there's still a little bit more we need to learn. So back to voiceover me. Now that every NPC is max heart level thanks to the CGB cheat menu, link in description if you want to use it yourself, we have a chance of actually getting some valuable things instead of five basic fertilizer. 10 gold. We can get something like an omelet, which sells for 125 gold. That's still not very much, Wally Gug. Shush, it's better than 10 gold, alright buddy? Most of the valuable things I saw on the list were food items, actually, which surprised me just a little bit. I didn't really see any diamonds or, like, bars of solid gold or anything like that. Oh, um, gold bars sell for less than a pink cake anyways, so, uh, guess I'm not missing too much. Now that we understand how gifting works, let's talk about the two paths you can go down in Stardew Valley, Joja and the Community Center. Community Center requires you to collect just over 100 items from all different activities and seasons, letting you fully experience everything the game has to offer. And Joja Mart, you just need money. Literally just money. 140,000 to be precise. Today, we're just gonna be collecting all of the items and selling it for money, but if you wanna see me complete the community center using only NPCs, like the video and subscribe. We're also extremely close to 100K. I would like that, please. Thank you very much. All right, we're here on exploitation farm. I guess let's just head on out to our mailbox and see if we found, oh, salad. Awesome. Am I just gonna be getting every single recipe known to man? Oh, I also got five quality fertilizer and a beer. Awesome. First off the bat, grab myself enough wood for a chest. And you know what? I'm just gonna make a campfire so I can stay warm during the harsh, harsh nights of me repeatedly sleeping. Okay, so I'm just gonna be chucking anything I find into this chest. I'm gonna put my tools, I guess, as well. So now we're just gonna be doing a lot of sleeping. All right, it's been just over a week. Let's check, let's check our bounty. Let me just like kind of take care, do a little bit of lawn care first. What kind of loot are we getting? Chowder recipe, an advertisement, another advertisement, and an epic emoji, holy smokes, Emily. All right, so we came out of that pretty well. We got uh, some wool, energy tonic, five basic fertilizer, 30 hay is pretty dang decent, and a cookie. I think that was from my mom, not an NPC though. All right, one month in and Marnie wants to give me a cat. Okay, fine, I'll, ta I'll take the cat. All right, now that we've got that name finished. All right, that was a decent amount of stuff. Nautilus shell, some bread, amethyst, stone, vegetable medley, cloth, and chocolate cake. Okay, we can uh, do this. Three uh, rounds, guys. We gotta win them. Well, I just got an alien. One sec. After a few years of sleeping, I'd made around 10,000 gold, so I knew this was gonna take a while. I'd been slowly kind of ramping up how long I'd been sleeping each time and like collecting mail, but let's skip straight to me sleeping for five months, also known as one and a quarter year. This was by far the longest period of time I'd slept and my farm was completely overgrown when I stepped outside. I still hadn't gotten the alien capsule from earlier, so I chopped my way over, but I actually ran out of energy partway through like an idiot, so I just collected my mail. This mail filled up just over one chest, and I got some pretty decent, valuable things with only one bomb threat this time. Afterwards, I sold it for a total of 15,000 gold. Not bad at all. The other section makes up for most of it, and it's kind of funny that hay shows up in the preview when it sells for literally zero gold. Energy tonic and batteries were carrying big time so far, and wait, wait a second. I, I just noticed cherry bombs and mega bombs sell for the same price. So, Stardew, you're telling me if I walked into a store with both of these? Wow, I'm not sure if I could have worded that worse in, in hindsight. Um, if, if I walked into a store planning to sell these two bombs, the storekeeper would be like, wait, can you, can you show me a video comparing the explosions? Hmm. All right, that, that's about 50 gold's worth, I'd say. 
What about what about this one? Yeah, I, I'd say that's around 50 gold too. Actually, that does kind of sound like a Pierre thing to do, to be fair, I guess. Well, Pierre, I have more of these, so let's just say it's not in your best interest to give me a bad deal, all right, buddy? After that, I did a little bit of... Later, I got out of bed and tried to leave and I realized I'd forgotten to grab my axe, so I was soft locked on my farm, <laughs> meaning I needed to figure out how to escape. I thought for a solid 20 seconds and decided, F it, and just launched with CGB cheese to spawn in an axe and break out. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should restart the run. And I was like, no. So I broke out. Then I collected everything and sold it for a solid 16k gold. This was honestly a little demotivating since I had slept a bunch more for only a little bit more money, but eh, it, it wasn't all bad. By now I would lasered down on the things hard carrying the run. Cloth was doing great, same with batteries, energy tonic, and just like I predicted, food items were doing very well as well. Speaking of lasering down, I'd also lasered down my sleeping strategy. First I was just holding down D and spamming Y like a pleb, but that got old fast so I only did that for the first like 3 years. So then I used my microphone stand to hold down the D key so I only had to spam Y. Then then that, that got old fast too, so uh, I used a controller and laid on the floor while spamming A. Uh, stupid as it sounds, that was the most efficient way to do it. Uh, anyways, by now you get what happens during the downtime, just a whole lot of... This time, I was blocked in even more than last time, if if that's even possible. I, I wonder what would happen if an NPC tried to visit your farm when it was like this. Oh, okay, okay Skr, what, what happens? All right, we're on a brand new farm. Uh, so let's clear, let's clear this up and plant some trees. I'm just gonna bomb the rest of this nonsense out of the way and grab some acorns. Gonna have to lower the speed a little bit so I can actually plant them. And then with a single handy command, we can instantly grow everything. There we go. Now the easiest cutscene I know how to trigger is when you make 25k gold and Demetrius asks you if uh, which cave you want, so I guess let's try that one out and see what happens. Well, um, <laughs> I'm getting the cutscene and he's just buried in the trees. Wow, like you can't even see him. <laughs> Well, that's about what I expected. Anyways, myth busting over. Thankfully, I'd remember to bring my axe and pickaxe too, just to be safe. So I broke out just far enough to reach the mailbox. I actually ran out of energy though, so I, I couldn't reach the shipping pin funnily enough. Well, I head to bed to get my energy back. No, there's not a sponsor. I have a question to pose for you. First off, who delivers the mail? There isn't a mailman in Stardew Valley, so there must just be like Mayor Lewis while he picks up your shipping bin items or something. So um, how is he reaching the mailbox and, and and shipping bin for that matter. Oh, okay, fine. W whatever. I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Just just leave your theory down below or something in the comments. Wow, wow check wow, out this epic wow, transition wow, going from wow. winter second to summer fifth. So epic, truly. Um, I forgot my axe outside this time, so um at this point, I was sick of the placing it all in a chest, so I was just filling my hotbar and then selling, and uh, also check this out. This was just stupidly satisfying. I got 22k, almost 23k gold this time, which was stupid good for me. I was also getting a lot more money than, than I expected from people just straight up sending me money. By this point, I just passed 100k gold total made, which was surprisingly high. Also, something you almost certainly haven't noticed yet is that spouses actually don't send you gifts in the mail, even when you have 10 hearts, or you're like married to them. The only ones that do are Emily and Shane, which is because they weren't initially spouses in the game, they were added in a later update, the 1.1 update. This means Harvey will charge you for passing out and won't even send you any gifts to make up for it. Anyways, leave your theory down below once again for why this is the case. One more sleeping session, I broke out and only had to chop one tree to get to my shipping bin since last time I was out I set up a path and fence like the true genius I am. After collecting all my things and selling, I had enough money on winter 1st of year 11. So let's head over to Joja and buy the pass. I did get mixed up though and thought the 140,000 cost to Jojamar didn't include the initial 5k membership, but it actually does, so I slept another month into year 12. Then I grabbed all the upgrades, starting with a minecart upgrade, and bro, why does this guy look so sketchy? The shifty eyes. I I, I don't like it. Well, uh, um, I'll be seeing it five more times, so I better deal with it. Greenhouse was next, and Evelyn delivered me the final gift, a garden pot. After watching the greenhouse cutscene, then the bus, the bridge, and finally pass Planning was completed, and I done it. Just sort of 12 years and 145,000 gold earned. If you want to see a video on some Stardew Valley lore and trivia, check out this video on screen now, and I'll see you later.